Hi, I'm Dr. Lisa Thompson of DrLisaMThompson.com, and in today's video, I'm going to share with you the number one network marketing success tip I learned from Ray Higdon, who taught me how to build a large team fast and to keep your attrition rate low. So if you're someone right now, whether you're brand new and you're looking to build a team, or you have a team already in place, you're going to find this tip very helpful. So get a pad of paper and a pen and take some notes. Now if you don't know who Ray is, Ray is one of the top earners in the network marketing industry. Right now he is focusing on being a trainer and helping other network marketers and home business owners elevate the vibration of the profession to make people build their businesses in a professional manner. And what I recommend that you do, if you haven't been following Ray right now on Facebook, go do so at facebook.com forward slash Ray Higdon page. Because every Friday he does a Facebook Live where he does a question and answer session and he calls it Free Coaching Friday where he really gives you practical, simple tips that will get you on the fast track to success. So go right now, if you haven't done so already, go on Facebook and like his page, and then make sure you tune in every Friday to see his Facebook live stream. Now what I learned from Ray is that you need to build a large team fast. And in order to do that and keep your attrition rate down, he equated having a culture. You need to have a positive vibration and culture with your team and he calls it being around a campfire and so what keeps people around a campfire with your team well you would have events that they can plug into tools training books the overall attitude that you have of the group okay so when people are disappointed when people are disappointed in their results or they feel that they are not being supported, they're going to leave. Now, I put in my blog post today all about disappointment, and that was another big takeaway I learned from Ray. So if you go into the video description, you can click on the link to that blog post and you can read about the insights I learned from Ray there. So what we need to understand with network marketing and building an organization it doesn't matter what company you're in and what you're promoting every network marketing company has three categories of reps or distributors we have the 80 percent category and people in this category make anywhere between zero and five hundred dollars per month these are people who are happy to attend events they're plugged into the trainings and they buy product. They love being a part of the community and the friends that they're making. Then we have the 15%. And these are people that make anywhere between 2000 and 3000 per month. They're 25000 per year. These are people who are out there building their business. They're creating their teams of both distributors and customers. And then we have the 5%. And the people in the 5%, these are the ones who are the top earners that are making 25000 plus per month. These are your leaders and those that have a strong desire to take it to the top. Now, what you have to understand is where do you fall on this category? It is your desire that self-identifies. Okay, that's very, very important to understand. Now, your desire doesn't mean the same as your team's desire, each individual's desire, because the number one cause of attrition, according to Ray, is that we assume that everybody wants to be in that 5%, that those that want to make 25000 or more per month and be that top earner, so we can all get that residual income, okay? And that's why you need to understand where your team members are at and what their visions are. And where the team falls apart is that people constantly push everyone to be a 5% where some people are perfectly happy where they are and they begin to feel that they're not living up to expectations. They become disappointed and then they're going to leave to go find a place where they're celebrated 
and not tolerated. So how do we keep this moving forward? And Ray shared a very important metaphor, and this is something that just blew me away, and I know this is going to help you as well. Let's follow the church mentality, okay, when people, when they go to church. They also have the 80, 15, and 5 category. So what does a pastor or priest do with his church members? Okay, how does they keep a thriving parish going? Well, you have those that are in the 80% that are happy to attend church weekly. They'll add money to the collection plate. They'll attend a Bible study. They love to come to fellowship. And they will support bake sales and other church fundraising activities. Then we have those that are in the 15% where they lead the Bible study. They'll join some church committees, be on the parish council volunteer at a bake sale, they'll volunteer to usher at church, or they'll join the choir. And then we have those that are the 5%. These are the people that want to pursue a vocation within the church, where they would decide to become a pastor, priest, or maybe become a religious, like a nun, or be an, a missionary, or they're going to start their own apostolate within the church itself. So what do the church the pastors do. What they do is they extend gratitude. They appreciate everybody within each category. They thank the people who attend every week and are just in that 80%. And they also support those in the 15% and those in the 5%. So the secret to a strong team is to make them feel good no matter what category they're in. And here's something else that Ray talks about, is that the 80%, those who are making $500 or less in your organization, will always be your supporters and encouragers who will add to your energy, okay? You want to have people who are energy supporters, not energy drainers. Don't push them, okay? Don't push them at all to try to move into a 5% category unless they come to you with a desire that they want to move there. Now, there are going to be people who might be 80% for a long time, but then all of a sudden something might happen in their life where it's going to necessitate a change where they have to move forward, but it has to be on their terms. So what you want to be doing for your team, especially those in that 80%, Send them messages of gratitude and appreciation. If they're liking, commenting, and sharing your posts on social media, go send them every once in a while an email message or a Facebook message and tell them, hey, thank you so much for being such a great member of the group, for liking, commenting, and sharing people's posts, for giving encouragement not only to me, but for other team members, congratulating new members for coming in, making them feel welcome or congratulating people who are ranking up. You know, those little messages will keep people in and they're gonna want to stay no matter what. And eventually, how you treat them is gonna light a fire underneath them to want to have that desire to experience more success and pay it forward. So did you find this video helpful today? leave a comment and share. And if you would like to know more about how to really build a strong network marketing team by having an endless support of leads, of people who are truly interested in what you have to offer, what I'd like to do is I want you to go to drlisamthompson.com forward slash recipe where you're going to learn the top earner formula which also helped Ray go from being broke and in personal foreclosure to top earner status. So go to drlisamthompson.com forward slash recipe and you can get all the information there on how to do just that. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.